So a bit of a funny story. The other day, my mom and I were just talking, and for whatever reason, the subscriber count on this YouTube channel came up, and she asked what it was, and I said, oh, it's like 535. And she, she just stops and goes, wow. So if everyone who subscribed to your channel told a friend to subscribe, you would be over a thousand. And I'm like, yeah, mom, for sure. That, that'd be easy to just make happen. So I guess... <laughs> I guess that's your mission for the episode today. Tell somebody new about the channel, have them subscribe. I, it's not my words, it's my mom. Do it for her. But anyway, here we are back on the Brewers March to October. Last episode was a pretty good one, man. We finally clawed our way back to 500. We're looking to get over 500 now for the first time this season. But to do that, we've got a little bit of a tough task in front of us. We gotta play the Padres already down four to three, but we're gonna start out with the bases loaded and only one out so we better be able to push at least the tying run across i also think this episode really should be the one where we make our first trade like it's gotta happen we got our first trade to pop up only in episode three i declined it and we didn't get one in the last one so i'm thinking man it's gotta be this episode that we get something to pop up i'm really looking for that shortstop replacement and i mean if we could get trevor story that'd be incredible he's having a bit of a good year though he's having a really good year actually just maybe the power is not as there well i don't know you come <laughs> Compare it to last season, he's already had more in less games. But then, like, Gene Segura, man, he'd be awesome, too, because we'd keep the fielding that we already have. Urias is a good fielder at short. Well, actually, Segura's probably better, but then he's actually got some hitting. And he's not having as good of a year not like he's playing bad or anything but with his rating and maybe his play he'd be the more likely one but that's really like that's the that's the spot we need because if we look at urias here in 149 at bats he's batting 228 no homers like i said his fielding's good but that's kind of about it i mean he's good against lefties too actually i've never looked at the split sorry i don't i didn't mean for this to be a super long intro but now i'm just curious about things wow okay never mind then weirdly enough urias is doing worse against lefties how does that make sense how does that even happen like i would understand if the discrepancy between his numbers against lefties and numbers against righties was less but based on the attributes, this dude is one of, if not the worst hitter against right-handed pitching. But he should be one of the best contact hitters against left-handed pitching. Alright, so that, that throws a lot of thoughts I had down the drain. But hey, we're still looking for that shortstop, because it'd still be an upgrade. Alright, but let's get ourselves into this Padres game here. Like I said, we gotta push at least the tying run across with the bases loaded. Because I still, even though we turned things around a bit in the last episode, I still don't know if I fully trust the offense. So if we got something ready-made like this, we gotta cash in and we're just hopping right into the game. It is a lefty-lefty matchup though, so hang on. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna play this matchup here. I kinda don't wanna hit lefty-lefty, especially against Tim Hill, who I know has a bit of a funky delivery. So let's bring Pena in, we'll get the matchup, and then we'll get the, the better feeling behind the plate for the rest of the game. This is about to be the first pitch I've seen on MLB today, and it's in a huge spot like this. Alright, his, his delivery actually isn't throwing me off as much as I thought it would. And he might walk me, man. 3-0 count? No chance I'm swinging here. I might not even swing 3-1. Alright, yeah, he got it right there. It was a sinker. That would have definitely been an out. Yes! We got the walk anyway. And they're bringing in a new pitcher now, a righty to face Jackie Bradley Jr. He's two for two today, alright. Oh, that's... That's tough. No shot. No way. This is what I mean. I still don't trust myself on offense. That should be an 8-4 game. Shaw? Carry. No! What? I feel like that's the animation when they don't catch it. So I got hope. Alright, that's fine. We tied it. That was like the bare minimum we could do. Get Devin Williams in here. Hopefully we can pick up the lead in the 8th and close it with Hater. Wow, can't be throwing that. He's stealing the first pitch I throw a change up on. It's almost like the CPU can know what I'm about to throw, huh? Alright, might be risky. 3-2 count screwball. And he got it! He swung! We got him. That was big. That was real big. I was worried. 
Ooh. Nice. The changeup got him. I don't know. I thought he was stealing third. I thought I heard the uh, the usual, you know, he's running, he's running. Oh, play this on the bounce, man. He's got, he's slow. Nice. All right, well, let's just go ahead and take the lead here. Vogel back off the bench. We'll go up 5-4, and then Hayter can shut the door. You know what? That's me. I swung at three straight balls at a bat. It would, if I just put my controller down, it'd be a 3-0 count. And Wong, that one gets through. All right, it would have been ball four anyway, so either way, that worked. And Kane? Oh, he hit that so slow off the bat. All right, well, if we're going to win at this point, we're going to... We're going to have to walk it off. Brent Suter will get us there. There we go. Nice play, Keston. One out. Nice. Right on the corner, man. What are you going to do with that? Oh, he laid off the 3-2 curve. I missed my spot barely. Oh, he's stealing right away. Dude, are we just going to let them take second every time? Nah, dude, nah. We got a perfect throw, but he's got no arm. It wasn't even a hard hit ball. That wasn't even a good swing. They're stealing again. Did we finally get him? Okay, we did. And that wasn't a strike, though. Dude, Suter is just not effective this game. My god, what an awful inning. Not only is everybody just hitting singles, but they're also taking the count to like 2-2 two, two, or 3-2 every time. I'm, I'm bringing Topa and I I don't want to pitch with Suter anymore. I didn't think I'd ever say that. Please get him here. We did, okay. Two caught stealings in the inning, that's how we get out of it. All right, this is going to have to do it. We made it more difficult for ourselves here. Now we got to score two to win. But we got Yelich up here. Oh, no. That's a hanger, man. I just... That's why I suck at hitting, is I don't take advantage of the easy pitches to hit. Oh, okay, that was close, but we drew the walk. So here are today, three for three, a homer, and two walks. But now we got to go back to Pena, who we pinch hit for, but now it's not the favorable matchup. We just got to get to Shaw somehow, man. Got to get one of these two guys coming up next on base to get to Shaw. That's, that's cool. I don't even have an explanation for that one. I just, I thought it was going to end up outside, and then, yeah. That one, though, didn't end up outside. I hit the hanger. Jackie Bradley Jr., of all people. What a time for his first homer of the year. Oh my god. I just about lost hope there after the Pena strikeout. Oh, that's such a relief. If I missed that pitch, or if I got out on that pitch, I would have been so upset. I really, I, I pretty much resigned myself to losing that game. Jackie Bradley Jr. That's the last guy I expected. Not only are his numbers bad on the year, but just in general, whenever I've used Jackie Bradley Jr. in the show, I feel like I just don't hit with him. We get five extra flame balls for that one. This should this should be huge. This should give us a lot of momentum and a lot of wins here because we're already, yeah, we already had a pretty good one. That's like full. That's like all the way full. Let's sim a decent amount of games here. I'd be fine picking up a bunch of wins here just for momentum. Yeah, we beat the Nationals in that series. And we're playing again. All right. Semi-quick turnaround. We got to face the Tigers. Projected wins only bump up by one. And we only gained one game worth of ground in the division. But we're over 500 for the first time of the season. 28 and 25 tied with the Cubs. And it looks like this uh, moment against the Tigers here is going to be similar but different. It's going to be like the opposite. They have bases loaded, one out. So we got to get out of the inning and then put up some runs. But I'm up for it, man. After that, 
ending. I'm jazzed up. Let's get into another one here. Let's walk it off again. Actually, I kind of hope it doesn't get to that point. I'd rather take the lead sooner. All right, I think Adrian Hauser's still on the mound, but not for long here with the bases loaded, one out. These are the only guys they have warming up? Oh, okay, good. I, I always forget when we when you first hop into a March to October game, you can sit down and warm up anybody and they'll be ready to go instantly. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go to Williams. That's probably smarter. This is a pretty big spot. All right, Devin, all we really need is just a ground ball and we get two outs. Suicide squeeze. He missed the bunt. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that, man. I'll take it. How many free outs are we going to get in this episode from botched steals? And a weak grounder to third. Shaw has got it. We get out of that inning with a little help. Three pitches for Williams. He's good for the eighth. You know what? Honestly, I'm going to make a little bit of a decision here. I'm going to let Williams hit because I think I'd really like to see him come back out in the eighth. Ooh, <laughs> didn't hit that hanger. But what can you expect? At least it was a four-pitch strikeout instead of three. Oh, man. Do you even call that a hanger if it ended up all the way up there? Look at my PCI, man. I thought that was going to break right down the middle. I would have been ready for it. That one broke right down the middle. Derek Fisher. That's what we all know he can do. At least everybody who watches Coog's channel. My God, that was a... That was an absolute nuke. So Derek Fisher gives us the lead on the no doubt perfect perfect. And now we have Yelich up. Let's do more damage. Let's do more damage. Carry ball. Come on. That is gone. Yelich got one back to back. What's happening to my voice? I'm getting too excited. 20 homers on the year. And we're. I think this is the last day of March if I remember that schedule right. Man, we are We are starting to hit. This, is, this feels good. I'm actually having fun now. All right, but Devin, this is why I left you in. Now this is just a normal eighth, eighth inning situation. Two run lead, got to keep it where it is. Come on, Shaw. We're there. Miggy, that was hit pretty weak. Derek Fisher's got it. There we go, man. How about the outing from Williams? Five outs on 11 pitches. Jackie Bradley Jr.? That one did get down. I gotta, I know his nickname's JBJ, but for some reason, I just feel weird saying that. And I feel weird if I just call him Jackie. The natural thing is to call him Bradley, but it's not just Bradley, it's Bradley Jr. I'll just try and force myself to say JBJ. Oh, but Shaw. Yeah, that's what he does, lefty lefty, I guess. All right, well, hey, we couldn't add any more, but we still have our two-run lead to take into the ninth, and you know, you know who we're gonna see. Here he is, here's the man. For some reason, though, he's got a three ERA. What? That's not right. And only 15 strikeouts and 12 innings? This isn't Josh Hader, who is this? There we go. Couldn't catch up to 94. Oh, he did catch up to 94 that time. Dang. All right. Well, that sucks. Should have gone to the slider. I thought about it, but it seemed like they couldn't hit the fastball right now. No. Stop it. I don't even have words. Hater. Dude. Please turn it. Please turn it. Thank everything. Oh my god. Ah, boy. We almost did it. We almost pulled defeat from the jaws of victory. But we get two more flame balls for finishing strong. Honestly, that might just put us right back to where we were before. What do we got? Is it going back full? Not quite. Okay. I thought we only used momentum on two games, though. But what do we got? Let's keep picking up. How do we? How? How do we lose? How do we lose the Tigers in the second game of that? Here it is. All right. First impressions, I would think this is an easy no, but might have to think about this one because we're giving up two prospects who aren't that big of a deal. And yeah, we would be giving up Jackie Bradley Jr., who is the hero of this episode, which kind of makes it suck that this popped up in this episode. But if we take a step back and look at it as a whole, Jackie Bradley Jr. has not been that great, batting only 221, not even a 300 on base. Didn't even hit 
a home run until that walk-off that I hit. But, you know, we all know his value comes in the field. He hasn't made an error yet this year in the last two years. But we would be getting Andrew Chafin. We are looking for that third lefty in the bullpen. And he's about the same caliber as the two guys that I put on the trade. Or, uh, yeah, looking for in the trade screen. So, yeah, we'll keep that one in mind. But what's next? A's and the Pirates. That doesn't seem like any of the guys I requested. But what do we got? Sergio Romo. And we really would have to give up nothing. Thing. Okay, but regression's hitting him hard. He's already minus four in two months. That means by the end of the year, he might be honestly like minus 10 across the board. And by that point, the only guy he's going to be better than is JP Fireisen, but JP is still pitching really well for us. Look at that. What do we got from the Pirates, man? Adam Frazier. Okay, hang on. Do I like this one? I really don't know. I really have no idea if I like this move. We'd have to be getting rid, the only, the only real guy is Adrian Hauser, he's not been great for us, just under a 5 ERA in just under 60 innings, but if we did get rid of him, all we'd do is we'd just slide probably Brett Anderson back into the rotation. Alright, so that's an option, but is Frazier really the player we want? Man, but if it's we like lose, maybe, against the right. I feel like if we traded for so Frazier, that leads me to think. I want think about this. I trade, gotta. I feel like I gotta get out of this mindset. So I hate to say it. I man. don't see Frazier as a good trade. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna select this trade. We're gonna do it, man. We're gonna trade for Andrew Chafin. <sighs> Just hit yes, man. Just do it. It's done. It's done. He's on the team. All right. So what happens next? We sweep the Diamondbacks in a four game series and now we get a fast track. Okay. Another one that probably won't probably won't do anything for us, honestly, because I mean, we've seen two guys get a six overall upgrade. So even if we get that six overall with Angel Perdomo, he'd still only be a 68, wouldn't make our major league rotation. But I'd be a fool to not at least play the minor league game and bump up one of our minor league guys so that maybe he could be better for a trade. So let's go back to AAA, man. But I think you guys probably saw this coming. We're saving this for the next episode. Very solid episode here. Up to 86 projected. Six back now in the division and five over 500. We definitely made some really good progress. But again, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed. Remember my mom's mission. So subscribe to the channel. Try and get someone else to subscribe to the channel. Don't do it for me. Do it for my mom. But anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.